So I have an interesting video today. I'm going to show you how to deal with a laying worker. This hive is uh, a hive that my buddy has and he removed some queen cells when they were trying to swarm and he did that about three times and then they finally swarmed and what happens when you do that is a lot of times the queens aren't um, they're not laying because they're prepping for swarming so the bees they chase the queens around and they try and get her ready for a flight and during that time they're not letting her lay any eggs they're kind of exercising her getting her to slim down because she can't fly when she's or she can't fly far at least in full uh, egg laying mode uh, her, her body is just too fat she's too long and in order to fly the workers have to chase her around for a few days to prevent her from laying eggs so what happened was when my buddy uh, cut those queen cells it delayed swarming but it didn't stop it and that's usually the case if you have a cap queen cell it's pretty much too late to cut the queen cells at that point at that point they're going to swarm and it's just a matter of when and they do want to wait until they have queen cells that are going to hatch so it, it can delay them if you cut the queen cells but it's not going to stop it so that's what happened here is he kept cutting them and it reached a point where there were no eggs to make queens with but the swarm left anyway and then they were left hopelessly queenless and he didn't realize that um, otherwise he would have purchased another queen but he didn't inspect this hive for a while during that whole time it was queenless so the bees get kind of desperate and at a point of desperation some of the workers start developing their ovaries and they start laying eggs. The problem is when they lay eggs, they're only laying drone eggs. They're laying unfertilized eggs because the worker bees have never made it. So a lot of times you can have one or in many cases more than one laying worker. And a classic way to determine that you have a laying worker is you look in the cells and a lot of times the, the laying worker at she's not long enough to reach all the way to the bottom so she'll lay on the side of the cell or when they do lay in the cells um, a lot of times there's multiple eggs in each cell versus a queen you're only going to have one egg in each cell and it's almost always in the center of the cell at the back of the cell um, sometimes with younger queens you do have um, they will sometimes put two eggs in a cell but usually that they mature out of that in a week or so. If you do see that, you can check back in a week if you don't find a queen and see if, uh, if that's continuing to happen. And sometimes that happens when uh, you don't have a great queen and it continues happening and in those cases you have to replace a queen. But the problem with the laying worker is if you introduce a new queen, the laying workers are going to kill that new queen. And it makes it difficult then to introduce a new queen so what you have to do is get rid of those laying workers the problem is all the workers look identical and there's no way of distinguishing a laying worker from a, a non-laying worker but i'm going to show you a technique that usually works in getting rid of the laying workers and that technique involves moving this hive to a location maybe a hundred feet from here and coming back with only the bottom board, making sure the bottom board is 100% clear of bees, shaking all the bees off 100 feet away, and taking the combs back without any bees on them, putting them in this location. The bees that know how to find their way home are going to fly back and come back to this location. And the bees that don't know how to find their way home, unfortunately, they're going to be lost. But usually the laying workers are bees that are the youngest workers in the hive and chances are those laying worker bees have never taken an orientation flight so that is a way to get rid of them so they don't know where this hive is because they've never taken an orientation flight most of the rest of the bees especially when they've been queenless for so long they've taken orientation flights and they're going to be able to make it back to this location 
once they're all back here and the laying workers are separated, they're lost at the other location, then you can introduce a new queen, and only then. So we move the hive about 100 feet away and set them bottom born back here. And then we'll shake off all the bees and all the bees that know how to get home will come back to this bottom board.